How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JJR review. And today we're going to be looking at the Akaiboshi Yellow Box. Now, this is one of the many cookie boxes that I have reviewed from them before. This is actually the mid tier one. It goes to blue, to purple, to yellow, and then I believe red. And they all uh, kind of go higher quality from there. The other ones having up to, I believe, 56 pieces of a cookie in them but without further ado let's go ahead and undo the kind of plastic wrapping on the outside right here these little tabs There we go. All right, so now all we have to do is lift off the top. Ooh, this one looks like it's gonna be really good. Comes with their little card thing right here. And let's just go ahead and remove this top piece right here. Oh man, this looks really good. Look at all of this assortment of different types of cookies. I spot a white chocolate here, one right here as well. I think this is uh, maybe almonds and white chocolate, I'm not too sure. And then I know one of these is like a green apple white chocolate, which is really interesting. But there's actually, I believe, three in here that I haven't tried yet. So without further ado, let's swap to the other camera and take a closer look at these guys. All right, guys, you know me. The first thing that I'm gonna wanna go for is the white chocolate, cause white chocolate's my favorite. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this guy. Look at this guy right here. Got like a cranberry on the top. You know, I think I might've tried this one before, but I think this one might be slightly different. It looks as though, if we zoom in really close right there, it might have actual peppermint bark on it. Another thing is, is I like my new phone I'm recording with, because as you see in the background, my hand's completely blurred out. It has a really good depth of field, so we can get those finer looks on things. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and try it out. Let's give it a, another nice look. Pardon me if my hands are dirty. I've been digging in a barbecue and working on... Uh, clay molds for the last three hours. So they might be a little gross. That looks really nice though. Really, really, really nice kind of, you know, what would you call it? Like a dried, but you know, juicy looking cranberry. Let's go ahead and try this out. Hmm. Yeah, this is really good stuff. Like I'd say, this is top tier quality stuff right here. The crispiness of this wafer and just the creaminess of the chocolate. It's not like a super dried out chocolate. It, it very much has a creaminess and a really good flavor to it. And then whatever these crunchy bits are, just accent it even more. I just glopped right off that cranberry, so I really enjoyed that one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off. Going back to the box now, the one that we have next to it, if we bring it in and zoom in on it. This is one that I've never tried before, but uh, it says chocolate crunch on it, so I'm assuming that it's kind of wafery. I do see a light layer of chocolate that has a bunch of little crunchies stuck to it. So I'm excited to uh, taste that. Let's go ahead and open it up and try it out. Taking a closer look, you can really see these tiny little wafery kind of crispies on the outside. You know, a decent thickness too. Standard wafer on the bottom. Let's go ahead and try it out. The ch 
chocolate's really good. You would think that there wouldn't be a lot of like chocolate kind of flavor on it, given the fact that there it seems primarily wafer, but the layer of chocolate that it does have is definitely complementing it, and it mixes really well. I still say the other one's my favorite though, but this one's also really good. I'm gonna save the other for my fiance because diabetes. Then we have this really interesting one right here. Let's pull this up here. I don't even know what the, an almond leaf. That's interesting. I have never had anything that looks like this. Kind of just looks like a, uh, you know, no offense if people eat these, but kind of look like a goopy mess. Kind of like a, maybe look like a sea creature of some sort. But let's stop comparing it to things and take it out of its packaging and try it out. So this is what it looks like. It's got all these kind of cavities in it. I don't know if we can zoom in on that real quick. Let's see how far we can zoom in. I always love seeing that. Look at that. All these kind of like cavities in there. That little piece kind of looks like a face. Let me guys see that right there. Oh, fingers right there. Oh, right there, that little dot. Kind of looks like a little face, like a little dot underscore dot face. Interesting. But yeah, this is really kind of cool. I wonder if it's like a caramel. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mmm. Wow. It's definitely not a caramel. This is an almond kind of taffy, kind of a crunch taffy. In the, in the kind of like a boat of wafer. I don't know if you can see that. Let's zoom in on that real quick. It's kind of like a boat of waferness. It's very good though. I really like it. Fortunately, I can't have much more because of my diabetes, but you know, let's move that to the side and it'll be enjoyed later. Another new one that we haven't tried yet is this. Let's zoom in on a little farther away this almond soft cookie. And this one looks really good. I really like the individual kind of packaging. It always makes everything seem so premium. So let's go ahead and open this one. So this is what the cookie looks like has some pitting in it and some light, thinly shaved pieces of almond. Back is flat. A very crispy feeling. It says it's a soft cookie, but we'll see. So it's not a soft cookie as in doughy, it's a soft cookie as in a kind of soft crunch. It's not bad, it's not my favorite. It's kind of plain, and kind of like um, the uh, rolls that are in here. But those are kind of just like uh, meant to have with like a tea or a coffee, I think. Not bad though, definitely interesting. And now we have the infamous white chocolate and almond cookie. Now, this was my first favorite from the blue box, I believe. And it primarily is because it lo just look at the pool of white chocolate in there. Let's go ahead and remove this packaging and show you guys real close up. We zoom in right there. Zoom in on that almond, actually. Look, look at that almond glistening. But look at that. But yeah, that's really nice and thick right there. I really, really like how much white chocolate's on that. Let's go ahead and try it out. Yeah, it's just as I remember it. Really good, really nice uh, wafer cookie. And um, well, I guess it wouldn't be considered wafer. It's more of a, um, what are those cookies called? I'm always having a blank. 
shortbread cookies. It's more of a shortbread, a very nice soft shortbread. But look how much chocolate is stuffed in this cookie. That is some really good stuff. Still one of my all-time favorites. And now we come to the... Let me zoom in on that so you guys can read it. The Coffee Macaroon. And this thing is really good. I've tried this before. Let's open it up and get a better zoom in on it. You wipe my hands off a little bit. They're getting all kinds of crumbs on them. There we go. Look at that. There is so much detail in this cookie when you zoom in. There's all kinds of little things on here. Now these little crispy bits, I'm not sure what they are. I think it might be shredded coconut. And that's what this side looks like. Let's go ahead and break it in half. You're breaking my heart. No. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it out. I don't remember what it tastes like. Yeah, that's really good. I'm not much for the texture of the coconut. I'm not a coconut fan because of the texture. But um, the coffee flavor in it is impeccable. It's so good. It's It actually tastes like coffee. And then we have these guys right here. Let's go ahead and just pull both of these guys out. These right here, I think one is a burp. This is the green apple. Let's zoom in on it. This is the green apple. And I believe this is the bourbon if I'm not yeah this is the bourbon so let's go ahead and try these out again it has been a while so let's refresh refresh my taste buds with uh, one of these guys kind of a powdery outside probably to seal it let's try it the green apples pretty good I wouldn't say it's my favorite anymore uh, has a little bit of a crunch on the inside and this guy I believe this one's just like a solid white chocolate ball with a little bit of uh, bourbon flavoring let's go ahead and zoom in on that there we go let's go ahead and try this out you know it's been a while since I tried those, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the bourbon one anymore. The green apple one is okay. Maybe I'm getting more critical the more sweets that I try. And this is just a milk roll. I'm not going to indulge in this because it is basically, if I show you right here, the milk roll is just basically the outside of this cookie. It's just standard wafering. There's nothing in it. It's just pure wafer so there's not really anything to explore right there and then this one over here is a tea roll which is about the same thing it has a slight bit of tea-ish flavor to it i believe but it's still very plain and there's not much to really do on that so yeah that was the box and even though i took one of each we still have a little bit more to go i think one more of each in here so this is always probably one of my favorite things to uh, indulge in in these cookie boxes because you get a really large variety all of them feel really premium and honestly where do you really get cookies outside of things like this besides like homemade you know what i mean so i really really enjoy this and not to mention you can keep the 10 after too so that's always a plus reuse your stuff and uh help the environment a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.